springtime in Tennessee, and that means a couple of things, and that's ramps, morels, and wild asparagus. So out today, I was getting ready to do some ramp hunting and a little bit of morel hunting, and just happened across a patch of wild asparagus. Now, this wild asparagus is something I've been collecting on for a few years, and usually they kind of coincide. It's when the morels are up, the asparagus will be up and vice versa. So this is a really good opportunity to collect both. Today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you wild asparagus, what to look for and how to harvest it. I've got a recipe that is so simple and so tasty that you'll absolutely love it. So what we have here is a big spear coming up and there's a couple of them around here and usually when you find these patches they'll be in little patches. What generally gives this away and it's so easy to spot are these little stalks right here and this is last year's growth you can see the plant down in here and you can see this is coming out of last year's growth maybe a few dozen down through here and you can see I've already collected a few here a few spikes down through here a lot of people don't like the taste but I love it survival or just every day I'm just gonna take a knife I'm gonna come in here about right above this and just will slice it off now that'll encourage that usually it'll have three or four more spikes come out. Do not over harvest this stuff. If you've got three or four spikes, and I'll show you down through here, there's a bunch of it. Generally, they're pretty stringy. When you break it open, it'll have all these fibers inside. The fibers are pretty weak, so they're not really good for anything. Maybe fire starting, that's about it. If you look at this, it has kind of a triangular leaf bud. And that, corresponds with the leaf bud that's on the green part. These are called scales. You train your eye to spot this stuff and you'll spot it all the time. Now it's a good idea that when you do find a patch market and that way you can come back the next year this stuff will come back year after year after year. Here's another one coming up. We're gonna actually leave that one and uh, Hope to propagate some more. I'm gonna leave it too. Now I'm just gonna rinse these a little bit. Once you have them washed, just pat them dry a little bit. Just trying to get some of that water off of them. Now what I'm gonna do, this is how simple this recipe is. So I'm gonna take a couple of these spears. We're gonna put them in the end. Then I've got some bacon. And yeah, you guessed it. I love bacon. I know a lot of you guys out there love it too. So, I actually had this, this done in a restaurant one time, and it was absolutely wonderful. Probably the best way I've ever had asparagus. Now, there's some other good ways to do this, too. Uh, brown butter. Just kind of lightly fried in brown butter. I try to get all the same size pieces here. Normally, you don't have to add a toothpick to it because when you fry it, it'll kind of stick together. But if you find that it's kind of falling off, you can actually add a toothpick to it. So I'm going to do about three or four of these. And the great thing about your asparagus is, once you cut it, if you put this in some water and put it in the refrigerator, uh, just put it cut in down, you can store it in the refrigerator for a pretty good while. Change the water out every so often. Now if you have the bigger spears, if you find, happen to find some of the bigger spears. Now in the wild variety, it's hard to find anything that's that's really big. The cultivated stuff I've seen, you know, as big as your thumb. Uh, you can only do like, you could do tip to tip with two pieces like so, and that's enough for one serving. Now we're gonna take these and put these on the charcoal grill. We're gonna keep turning them every so often. We don't want them to burn. We wanna keep doing this until the bacon cooks through. If you're worried about your tips burning, all you gotta do is wrap the bacon full length. You just want to make sure that your pork is cooked thoroughly. I'm not one for eating raw pork. And this is the finished product. This is great served as an appetizer or a side dish with steak or just about anything really. I've also had just grilled asparagus and spritz it with a little bit of lime juice. The real test is eating them. And you can actually cut these into smaller pieces and serve them as an hors d'oeuvre. This is the real reward is actually getting to eat it. This is the first of the season. You need to try that yourself. This is absolutely wonderful. As a side note, guys, always check with a local expert before using or consuming any wild plant. Better safe than sorry. This is really good.
Guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the woods.